Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Deloitte. So today we have a few stories to talk about, but instead of dropping them in separate videos, we're going to put them all in one video. You guys let me know if you guys prefer this moving forward, maybe just putting a couple of them in the same video as opposed to every single you know, topic essentially getting his own video, if that makes sense. Definitely let me know your preference in the comment section below. But the first thing we want to talk about today is the Lakers and LeBron James, of course. Why not talk about the Lakers and LeBron James some more? Well, today we're talking about them because not one, but two teams called the Lakers before the trade deadline and inquired about potentially trading for LeBron James. The first team was the Philadelphia 76ers. Yes, they called as Rob Palenka if LeBron James was available. And they actually said, it's pretty funny. He then said no, but... Is Joel Embiid available? So I know you called about our star player. He, we're not going to move him, but what about your? What about your star player? Is he available? And of course, we could pretty much figure out how that conversation went. No, Joel Embiid is not available. No, LeBron James is not available. So that went nowhere, but we were not done. We are not done with just that because the Golden State Warriors interesting they inquired about lebron james even having draymond green reaching out to his agent rich paul which is also the agent of lebron james and trying to see if this was even a possibility so lebron james he's uh rich paul said that's not going to happen on behalf of lebron james and then the lakers also said that it would not happen so two teams took the shot at lebron and this is coming off of the rumors uh, a week probably before the trade deadline saying that LeBron James could be made available. Now, that was an interesting rumor, right? Because the guy who said it had pretty a pretty good track record. Now, maybe he did hear what he said, which was LeBron James could be traded. But Rich Paul came out immediately and said that he would not be traded. Not only that, he said the Lakers or LeBron James would not ask to be traded. The speculation mainly comes from the fact that LeBron James could become a free agent in the offseason. But it looks like right now, all signs are pointing to he will work out a deal and they'll get something done. Now, he does have that player option, so he could just opt into the one year and then go from there. But you would expect at this point, he's looking way more likely that he will probably be a Laker for the next few seasons. So that is definitely interesting that two teams reached out um for the warriors i don't know how you would have made that work of course you gotta get the, the the money to match up so of course clay thompson is going to be involved in the trade like that if draymond green is reaching out and trying to get them you would assume draymond green would not be available so andrew wiggins is the only other name and if you're trying to entice the lakers to give up lebron james from andrew wiggins and clay thompson I don't think that's going to work. So I think that's exactly why he is still in LA as well. You will probably have to give a crazy offer for the Lakers to really even entertain it. They didn't, and he is still with LA. Now, the next story, just moving over to the other team in LA, and the last one I'm going to talk about here in this video is that both, according to Sean Sharania, Bones Highland and PJ Tucker have been sent home by the LA Clippers. Now the expectation is that they will both return after the All-Star break. So it's not as crazy as it sounds. They are on the road trip. Just go home for now, get a little bit of extra time, and we'll see if we can figure things out. Now PJ Tucker is very interesting, right? Because I thought PJ Tucker was gone. If you would have asked me, you know, a day or two before the deadline, he was going to be moved. Now the question is, where was he going to be moved to? You look at his deal, I, I don't see any buyout scenarios taking place, right? Because he's also going to probably opt into the option next season. He's going to make his money. So why would any of that happen? So he would like to be traded. He would like to be shipped out to a team where, you know, they will play him and he could get some, you know, what he thinks is adequate playing time. That is not happening here in LA with the Clippers. So them sending him home or them not trading him and now you know them sending him home just shows he is not happy and we've seen some social media posts hinting towards the fact that he's not happy um that he was not moved at all i don't know why he was not moved i don't know if the clippers 
tried and was just unsuccessful nobody had any type of market for pj tucker or if they actually refused some offers or was hesitant into offering him out i'm not sure exactly how that went down but it is interesting to me still that he is still a clipper and he is still upset to the point that he had to be sent home now bones highland similar situation playing time's not there and you know bones he's he's confident that's one way to say it very confident player when it comes to his abilities and how he feels he could you know change and impact the game so for him same situation maybe he could have been shipped off um we heard that they were asking for draft picks potentially for a bones highland once again did they not you know initiate and call teams to try to move off of from him or did they just not feel like any type of value that they were receiving was adequate enough for that so clippers playing really well well i mean one of the better teams in the nba currently after that disastrous start but they have really figured things out they're heading into the all-star break this is a time to recalibrate retool get prepared for that final push heading into the playoffs then of course in the playoffs so maybe they just say hey take a couple extra days off start that vacation early come back be ready to go and we'll finish out the year and then in the all season that's where we iron out some type of trade to move pj tucker i think that is more realistic and bones highland i think that's more realistic i don't think any of them will be released um i just don't so i think that is more um along the lines that the clippers are thinking so you guys let me know what you guys think about these two topics from both la teams do you think l the lakers had any real you know opportunity or real any real thoughts probably the better way to say it, of actually trading lebron james despite the rumors that we heard before the deadline that he was available and what do you guys think about the clippers especially when it comes to bones highland and pj tucker are they handling the situation correctly what would you do if you were the general manager of the clippers because clearly you can win without them but they're still on the roster what do you do you guys definitely let me know what you guys feel about this in the comment section below as usual hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please do me a favor go ahead and leave this video a like it helps me out a lot and subscribe if you haven't already it's d lord i'm see y'all next time peace